So what is the scoop in tray flip? Skaters have been trying to but failing to effectively answer this question, not because they are incompetent, but because they didn't have the right tool. This time, however, we are making a difference. If you are committed to land your tray flips, I am committed to show you how to do it, using whatever I have. You are watching Why the Trek, and today we are going to study a trick scientifically. Let us go straight to the point and try to answer the question, what is the scoop? By using videos only, however, it's really difficult to explain what's going on. Instead, please take a look at this 3D model that simulates my movement. This time, let's just focus on the feet. With that said, a scoop is all about a vertical axis rotation, which I call the z-axis rotation. When you see the 3D model, you might think there is a lot going on. It looks like I'm trying to swing my back foot to the heel side. My toe appears to be going toward my front foot. When I tray flip, however, there is just one thing, one thing only, that I keep in my mind. And that is this z-axis rotation. It feels like twisting my ankle by directing my toe inward. This causes both a 360 pop shove it rotation and a kickflip rotation without even thinking about the front foot at all. We will talk about objective reasons why this is possible later in this video. But before going into the details, let's just briefly summarize the entire execution process from the beginning. Number 1. Crouch down as you approach. Your board may open up to the heel side as you do so. This only happens due to the foot placement and weight distribution, so don't worry too much about it. Number 2. When you're ready, start lifting up your body. Important, don't start scooping just yet. With your body weight holding your legs down, you can't quite move them. Wait until your body elevates high enough so you can move them freely. Number 3. Finally, as your body is about to reach its summit, Start scooping your back foot. The key is to direct your toe inward around the z-axis. Doing this allows you to both spin your board backside and to cause the kickflip rotation. Now, if you wish, you may just go outside and give it a shot. Just FYI, from this point onward, we'll be talking about scientific reasons why such scoop is important. So please come back if something doesn't work. And if you still have time, let us continue our journey to understand the science behind tray flips. To start with, let's re-summarize what we learned in the previous video. In tray flips, the front foot does not flip the board unlike kick flips. As an evidence, by the time the front foot reaches right way should flick, it is not even in touch with the board anymore. Instead, my type of tray flips are products of rebound. As we scoop, the rear truck gets bent and stores energy inside. And once you remove your back foot, that stored energy tries to expand vertically. Between two ways it can go, up or down, obviously it cannot move the ground. So the only way it can go is upward. And that energy to go upward is the true cause of the flip. To make that happen, we need to find a way to effectively bend the hangar rear truck. Or, in other words, a way to maximize the amount of energy that is to be stored in the rear truck. As for the front foot, it does not flick. The only thing it needs to do instead is to hold the board down on the ground while the back foot applies enough energy to the tail. With that said, simply put, the most important part in tray flips is to store energy that causes a rebound by scooping the back foot. Let's go back to the concept of the z-axis rotation and analyze why that matters. Remember, we need to find a way to store energy in the rear truck. This can be translated like this. We need to bend the hangar of the rear truck while simultaneously spinning the board. Generally, as you scoop, since the center of gravity of your body is located in front of your board, by applying force to the tail, 
the board spontaneously start turning to the toe side. And if you don't do anything, you'll be just lowering the tail and rotating the board without bending the rear truck. Consecutively, there won't be necessary energy to cause the flip. In other words, if you simply swing your back foot to the heel side, no matter how hard you try it, it does not flip the board, because the rear truck will not have enough energy to do so. So, instead of trying to swing your back foot to the heel side, try focusing on the Z-axis rotation. By twisting your toe inward, you can bend the hang of the rear truck while spinning the board back side. And after that, the rear truck takes care of the rest, and you don't practically do anything. That's all for this episode. What are your thoughts? Just to make it clear, there must be different ways to pull off tray flips. So if you have any questions or opinions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be talking more about tray flips in the next video too. So let's see you next time.